Welcome back, folks, to Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. And uh, this is going to be my final review for this video. So we're going to need to play some more and check out some more story elements. I'm going to give you my thoughts and uh, suggestions and uh, my, my final rating for this game before we start moving on to the other games. So, yeah. Join me. That is a... Chaos Knight. That is awesome. I didn't realize that was actually something that you get to fight in the game. If it is, that's going to be insane. Music is totally awesome. Got that like grim dark chanting. It's also been a quick minute since I've uh, got a chance to play this game, so I'm kind of looking forward to jumping back in. As soon as it loads me in, of course. Alright, so let's go over here in our storage real quick. Okay, I got nothing in there. Uh, I haven't used these, uh, any of these psalms, I want to call them, um, just because I don't know how to combine them. I haven't gotten any, maybe it's a, like a, a Diablo type, uh, thing where you gotta use the hydraulic, um, not hydraulic, I'm sorry, it was a, the hydro genic cube or something like that where you are able to put in gems and then combine them I think it's some maybe something like that so heavy bolter is one of my favorite weapons in this game uh, I gotta get one of these just to make sure I don't actually already have one I have the flamer so let's go ahead and switch that out for the heavy bolter Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, I like that armor a lot, actually. That's pretty neat. Uh, let's also check out the armor real quick. And get rid of that flamer. Uh, we got assault armor. We got sentinel armor. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good with that. All right. So, the next mission that we are going to do... Uh, I kind of want to do not a story mission, but just a basic mission. Because I know there's a lot of... We've seen chaos... Uh, you know, we've fought a lot of, uh, against a lot of chaos type stuff going on. And I want to find some other... Yeah, this is a way to do it. Okay. So we can do a hunt. We got Tyranids, which is actually something I want to fight against. We got Eldari, which I haven't done yet. I haven't seen Eldari yet. We got Nurgle Demons. We got Corn Word Bearers. I think we've actually fought against some Word Bearers, the Space Marines. Uh, we've seen Nurgle Demons. Uh, we got Rebel Guard, which we've seen. So yeah, let's do... Let's do some Tyranids. I want to go shoot up, shoot up some bugs. Test out this heavy bolter. Oh yeah, that is a that is a dark Eldar or a Dukari uh, Scourge. They actually get like skin meld grafted these wings and they like learn how to fly. It's pretty cool. So if you are a fan of action RPG or a RPG aka Diablo clone type games and you like Warhammer 40,000 this is definitely gonna be one for you um, I personally really like this game for not just the story but the missions like this particular one like the why of piracy have and corruption is spun by powerful beings and perverted minds hunt their leaders and this construct of evil will come crashing down So 
as I was saying, sorry about that. Uh, I really like this game for the small mission experiences that you can do. For instance, just doing this little mission that I'm on right now with the Tyranids, I think is actually a really cool thing. So if you don't have a whole lot of time, you can just throw down a mission or two that only take like five, 10 minutes and be like, okay, cool. I got some stuff done. I don't have time for an entire hour of gaming. You can get a few missions in. It'd be great. Okay, this is cool. I was trying to find the, the shift so I'm not like moving forward. go this way. We got some enemies over here. Oh man, this heavy vulture really does like just chew through these guys. Because actually, when it comes to Tyranids, this is probably one of my favorite weapons. It just slows them down. That's awesome. So one thing you notice is you got your ammo right here, so you got to reload after so so often. So much like the heating and uh, other um, mechanics of the game, you got to pay attention to what you got. Oh. Nice, real grenade. Take them all out. Ah, I love that. Okay, let's get a. I think this is a. Ooh, ooh. One thing I would like to see. Now, maybe I just haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Are uh, gene stealers and possibly like. Uh, ravagers they tend to like pop up out of the ground they kind of look like hydralisks from starcraft and they are definitely like ambushers Another thing I would love to see in this game is maybe a couple more classes. I know I haven't tried to be assassin yet. But I can definitely say as like being 40k related, I mean this is very, very true to form. For all the weapons, it's very faithful to the the source, I should say. Ooh, oh, that's a big guy. No, I don't like the guy. Okay, okay. Let's get over here. Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed. Get some health. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. Nice. Worse. Much worse. Come on, kill, 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 kill. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That was definitely a close one. So. I haven't really, I haven't really died with this character, but if you do, uh, you come back and you only have like three lives to really finish what you're doing. Otherwise, it's game over. So let's go ahead and keep going. So as I was saying, so I really think that 
in this game, especially, if you just want to kill some time and kill some hordes of enemies, definitely, I think maybe with some friends too. Because uh, there is the multiplayer aspect, I haven't really explored that because, well, I don't have friends. Uh, <laughs> no, I, mean, I just don't really do a lot of uh, multiplayer type games. Um, that it would definitely be beneficial to try that. That is... What the hell is that? Is that a Carnifex? That's a Carnifex. Oh man, okay. Got some tier with warriors. Oh man, they like they like lock you into space. Nice. Oh no, he's getting his health back. Switch weapons here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm definitely a lot more stronger when it comes to melee stuff. Gotta take this guy out. Oh, he's hit me with warp powers, man. Not fair. There we go. Woo! All right, let's go back and get this guy taken care of. Damn, Carnifex. No, no pity. For the Emperor protects. Alright, so we got one more enemy left. I still have all three lives. We're doing good. We're doing good. Hurting just a little bit, but we're doing good. Yeah! Take him out. Kick his ass, Seabass! Five points if you know where that move where that movie's from. Or where that where that quote is from. Oh, took him out. There we go. Alright. I only got one more grenade, so I gotta make it really count. There we go. Nice. Ooh, I need that medical supply chest. Watch off these mines. Alright, so I'm thinking the last one's right here. Yep. There we go. Oh, is that what is that? Is that a storm one? That's a card effects. Inquisitor. 
almost got there. We go. Woo! That was uh, that was pretty intense. Like camping. I'll see myself. Ooh, what do we got here? Nice ancient mechanism. Okay, so that was the Tyranids. Yeah, that was um, that was pretty good. Even though it was like only a level 11, which I'm like level 12, so I'm already ahead of it. But still, man, that was that was kind of tough. Hey, we gained a level. Oh, we're actually we're level 14 now. Okay, so we now get the melty gun, unfitted marksmanship, and passive point. Awesome. Character passives. Let's do range combat. Gives us some uh, damage bonus or bonus damage to range. So yeah, I think with that done, um, let's do let's do one more since they're you know pretty quick and all that good stuff. And let's fight just because I know it's going to be easy, but I haven't seen the Aldori, so I want to see what they look like. And how they work. I mean, with our level, we're gonna tear right through them as is, so it should be a pretty hopefully it should be pretty quickly. Pretty quick. Orders fulfill the inquisitorial calling quota. Just means we gotta kill a certain number. Stars, the ancient unseen enemies of mankind wait and hunger. Be strong and give them no quarter. Oh, we even got the jet bikes too. That's awesome. We got warp spiders. Okay. That is a Wraith Guard unit. They're like walking bone constructs. But as I was saying with the screaming banshees, they have a mask that they scream and it stops you from like fighting. Uh, so in the actual tabletop war game, Warhammer 40,000, when you charge into close combat with Screaming Banshees, they stop you from performing what's called like Overwatch, which allows you to essentially shoot into shoot at the incoming unit that is charging, which is very, very helpful. Guard here, so it would, would kind of be. They have things called Wraith Lords, which are like bigger, even more Wraith Guards, and they have Wraith Knights, which are even bigger. And they also have. Uh, Inquisitorial type units. Well, I want to say Inquisitorial, but they, these guys are called Warlocks. They're like Psychers uh, and like Farseers, which are another, like, I don't say version, but they're kind of like a higher version. A more involved version of a Warlock. And there's just something magical about mowing down Xeno scum with a heavy bolter. 
Yup, exactly. Die, hero dude. Yeah, that's a Wraith Blade. Get that. Ah, oh. oh, yeah, these guys, they work behind you, man. They always catch you off. Shadow Spectres. Interesting. Those are like a highly elite type of uh, choice. So the thing with like Eldari, or as we call them, Eldar, um, they are a highly, highly specialized army. So they don't have a lot of units that are, well, I should say they don't really have any units that are just good all-arounders. They have what's called Aspect Warriors, which take on a certain aspect of their I almost like cult, but uh, their particular style of fighting, and they excel in that one particular group. So, like for instance, Howling Banshees are like close combat gods, so they focus on that, and that reflects in the Tiffany as well. Uh, so, a lot of their want a dedicated close combat group, you go with striking scorpions or howling banshees, and you just use them for that and only that. Uh, guardians, which are kind of like the basic troops, I guess they can be considered your overall units. They're not particularly great at anything other than maybe holding a unit. The other thing I like about this heavy bolter, man, it's got some serious range on it. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, I like the fact that I just stand there and just take their abuse and be like, yep, only one of us is leaving here, and that's going to be me. We got here, we got another chest. Nice. Nope. So that is the Imperial uh, Aquila. It's the sign of the Imperium. All right, where do we need to go? Going this way? Was awesome. Fear me, for I am death incarnate. All right, here we go. What do we got going over here? Perseverance favors the bold. Give them more death. Oh yeah, they ordered an extra large thing of it, and I will give it to them in space. Oh my god, they have a freaking wave serpent in here? It's a, it's their version of a transport tank. And what? I'm gonna throw a grenade at you guys. Okay, okay, I'm a little suppressed, I'm a little suppressed.
So we got kill streak. We got coagulant. All right, let me get my my grenade ready. Yeah, it's a heavy armor unit. That's why. It's like the Lehman Rust tank that we had before. is your salvation inquisitor yes indeed so those today flies a good day hawks. and that was the Eldari cool yeah that wave serpent was uh definitely the tougher unit there all right so my final thoughts on this game. I think it is a awesome action RPG game that is based in the Warhammer 40k universe. I think it's very theme, uh, the thematic part to this game is absolutely perfect. It does do very well to establish essentially kind of like the lore with the background info and the stories that it tells. The Grim Darkness is very much on point. They did a great job with the design. Um, I'm sure there's some things that need to be worked on when it comes to items that need to be either balanced. Um, some of the DLCs I was looking at uh, have gotten mixed reviews. I haven't tried any of the DLCs. Um, Prophecy is a standalone like DLC for it, which allows you to become the Adept Adeptus Mechanicus, uh, the tech priest and stuff like that, which I would probably be interested in trying out at some point, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but yeah, I think this game overall is pretty solid. So if you're looking for a, a game that you can just pretty much jump into and kill some, uh, some dirty heretics and some filthy Xenos, Yep, yeah, this is the game for you. I give this game an 8 out of 10. Just because of how... I may be a little biased because I'm a super 40k fan. So I think it's pretty uh, pretty on point. Alright, well, it's been Great Old Gamer. And uh, Great Old One, I should say. And uh, signing out. Catch you guys on the flip side.